If you love a deal, and I know you do, you got to hear this. A massive counterfeit couponing ring busted. Watch what you buy online. Police say that woman ran this website, had 12 bank accounts, and plenty of money. Fox's Jill Monier spoke, or spoke with her and has this crime alert. Free soda, free laundry detergent, free diapers. These were among the $25 million worth of counterfeit coupons seized by Phoenix police at one location Tuesday. And that's a pretty big loss to our commerce, which means jobs, it means uh, tax revenue, it, it's, it affects 401ks, these are publicly traded companies. This is a significant fraud. Police say this woman, Robin Ramirez, was running the website SavvyShopperSite.com, where she sold manufacturers' coupons for profit. She would bring in these coupons from overseas in large quantities, quantities we never could imagine. And uh, she would sell them on her website for about 50% of face value, give or take. These are just some of the coupons that were confiscated. Everything from free ice cream to a free bag of dog food worth about 60 bucks. And if you think it doesn't add up, think again. These are free item coupons. Some of them, like for Imes, you get this coupon from her for $10 or $20, and you can get up to a $70 item. Walk out of the store with a $70 bag of dog food. And if you can get an unlimited number of those, think of how this grows. Along with Ramirez, Marilyn Johnson and Amico Fountain were also arrested in connection with the operation. Investigators say the women were making untold amounts of money. We seized about, uh, I believe it was $240,000 worth of vehicles, uh, 22 weapons. Uh, we just found a 40-foot speedboat and uh, some other real high dollar items. Uh, we're gonna be close to, I'm gonna estimate just ballpark about $2 million in hard equipment. Investigators warn people not to buy coupons online and if you already did, don't use them. If you have to pay for them, it's not a coupon. It's a forged item, it's a counterfeited item and you can face prosecution for it if you do that knowingly. Jill Monier, Fox News. Josh Elledge is the savings angel. Josh, the lesson we take away from this, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. What do you think about these ladies? Yeah, Sonny, you're absolutely right. And, and this is, you know, part of our mission is we want to promote ethical couponing because ethical couponing by itself, you can save hundreds of dollars each and every month. But when people start getting greedy and when you see these extreme couponers mm -hmm. that are they're really getting into this shady uh, area of couponing, uh, it can mean big trouble. So, Josh, what kind of things should we look out for? Do people avoid buying coupons online entirely? Yeah, absolutely. If if the, you go to a website and they offer to sell you coupons, even if it's under the guise of, well, you're just paying for our clipping service or just shipping and handling, uh, Sunny, stay away. And you'll find uh, the Coupon Information Corporation is a, is a great organization. They're the kind of the watchdog group uh, for couponing. And I mean, they can't speak that message loudly enough. And, and we echo what they say. Uh, we have just seen nothing but problems when consumers, uh, you know, try and buy these very high value coupons from clipping services. They, they almost always end up in trouble eventually. And Josh, can people who are trying to use those coupons even unknowingly get in trouble themselves? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse. And, um, you know, it, it may uh, be as some, something as simple as the manager pulling you into a side room and educating you about what you were about to do uh, all the way up to uh, fines and jail time. I mean, you, you can't um, you can't pretend uh, that that coupon fraud isn't uh, a crime. It absolutely is. It's you know, it's kind of a mix between, um, you know, running your own, uh, you know, printing press for mm -hmm. money and outright shoplifting. It, sure. it's, it's a serious issue. Well, it's good to get that information out there because sometimes the deals look too good to resist, but we're glad we have you to check in with Josh Elledge with SavingsAngel.com. Thank you so much for talking with us. You bet, Sonny.